I'm celebrity menswear stylist Ashley Weston. So now that the temperatures are rising, it really is the perfect time to pick up some summer specific items to add to your existing wardrobe. And there really is no better place to start than with your shirt. So a good shirt is the cornerstone of any man's summer outfit. And I've put together a list of the five best variations to take your warm weather looks to the next level. In this video, I'm gonna go through everything from fit to colors to fabrics to how exactly you compare each shirt with the other items in your closet. I've also listed my favorite shirts in each category down in the description. And if you have any specific shirt brands that you love, I'd love to hear about them in the comment section. Okay, let's do this. To kick things off, my absolute top pick and the one shirt that every guy must have in their wardrobe for summer is the short sleeve button up shirt. With a classic Cuban collar, short sleeve button up shirts go great with your other summer essential items like your chinos, shorts, and slip on shoes. My favorites are crafted from either linen or seersucker, also cotton, which makes them perfect for warmer environments and also for guys who tend to run particularly warm. Now, if you're one of these literal hot guys, then trust me, these shirts will be your new best friend as they have a more relaxed fit, which also works really well if you happen to have a larger midsection. Now, you can definitely go with the solid color, but I love a good patterned short sleeve shirt. It can be layered over a tank top or a t-shirt, and it can be worn either buttoned or unbuttoned. There are plenty of options out there, so see what you feel most comfortable in, but please don't make the one mistake that I see a lot of guys making, which is going a size too small. These are not designed to hug your torso, and you should be able to pinch about one to two inches of fabric on either side of your stomach. Now, a patterned short sleeve button up shirt comes in a variety of fun and striking patterns and it's summer, so why the heck not? There are some amazing summery patterns and designs out there and personally, I love a leafy floral pattern, but you can always try to find something that resonates with your own unique style. However, please avoid going for the over the top cartoonish patterns as those these may be cute on kids, they really should never be worn by grown ass men. Patterns are designed to add some personality to your overall look, but remember that there is a limit, so try to steer clear of anything too noisy. And if you're uncomfortable with patterns, you can always go for a more toned down solid color, which will still radiate that sleek, effortless, casual summer style. Now, despite its relaxed aesthetic, the short sleeve button up shirt is actually a surprisingly versatile item and can be easily dressed up or down depending on what you dress it with. For example, as well as wearing it with your more casual short and sneaker outfits, you could also dress it up by pairing it with a suit or wear it with a nice jacket on top and some chinos. My next summer shirt is definitely the most casual on the list and it's a timeless summer staple. It's the classic crew neck t-shirt. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, please make sure your crew neck tee fits you properly before buying it. If it is tightly hugging your torso, it's probably too small and it's not doing you any favors. The sleeve should end around the mid bicep area and shouldn't be too loose as women love the look of a sleeve that gently hugs your biceps. And remember, the ideal length is the shirt should end around mid crotch area. And again, you should be able to pinch about one or two inches of fabric on either side of your tummy. We want your t-shirt to be fitted, but not too tight and not too loose. Typically, you will want to go with reliable neutral shades for your crew neck tees, but you should understand that, you know, different colors look great with certain skin tones. White, navy, light blue, black, grays are definitely the most neutral choices. But as it's summer, you have the option of choosing brighter colors like greens, blues, yellows, lavenders, and perhaps even a nice striped pattern. Nautical stripes can look great on t-shirts and when they are layered with something, the design can really make an outfit pop. Any of these crew neck shirts can be worn with jeans, chinos, or shorts, so feel free to mix and match. Also, here's a summer style hack for t-shirts. Try pairing them with some formal trousers and a belt. Playing with casual and formal items together in an outfit can really add a nice polish yet casual look. And if you pair this with a bomber jacket, then it's also going to be another elevated, super cool put together look. Now, one thing that I love to do when I style my clients with t-shirts is to just do a little half tuck of the shirt into the pants, then adding a belt. It creates a very cool put together summer outfit. 
Now, I will say, if you do carry a bit of weight in your stomach region, then don't do the half tuck because it's gonna kind of put a spotlight onto your stomach, which we don't want. Next up, we have a shirt that's kind of like the more stylish older brother of the crew neck tee, the polo shirt. So I love this type of shirt as it allows for the feel and comfort of a t-shirt with more of a polished look. And it looks great on every guy, regardless of his age or body type. And they're super breathable, which makes them ideal for summer. So like crew neck tees, polos work best with solid neutral colors. And I definitely avoid going for patterns that are too outlandish as they can really detract from the overall look. Personally, I really love when they have the tipping around the collar and sleeves as it adds some extra personality to the shirt's more refined aesthetic. Realistically, every guy should have a couple of different polo shirts in his wardrobe ready to go for when the warmer weather kicks in. And my favorite shades are teal, navy, heather gray, light blue, lavender, and green. Fabric wise, Pima cotton or a cotton silk blend is perfect for men with slim to regular builds. However, if you're a broader guy who carries some weight in his midsection, then definitely go with the PK cotton as the texture will help to camouflage those areas you might be a bit self-conscious about. Also for my large larger guys again. Consider going with darker colors like charcoal, navy, and black, as lighter colors can be a bit unflattering in terms of just, you know, hiding the extra weight, the extra love you might have in your torso. Now, in terms of styling, I really love a gray polo shirt with some dark wash jeans. It's a super simple, sexy style that women love, and you can also wear your polos with suits, chinos, shorts, pretty much, I mean, everything in between. My next pick is a soft and durable long sleeve button up shirt, preferably in a fabric like an Oxford, which is cotton or linen. But what's great about these shirts is that they look great by themselves or as part of a layered outfit and they look great tucked or untucked with chinos, jeans or shorts. And the long sleeves also not only look stylish, but can offer you greater sun protection and you can always roll them up for a more casual feel. Now with your Oxford shirts or your linen shirts, it's always better in solid colors. So avoid any kind of designs and such. You wanna opt for more simple neutral shades like white, light blue, light gray and navy as these are easier to pair and allow for a more sharper overall look. Now, if you do wanna add a bit of color to your shirts, then you can always consider going with green or lavender, as these are neutral colors that look great on every skin color out there and will also easily pair with the rest of the items in your wardrobe. Now, I do wanna say one last thing about the fabric choice. So, if you go with an Oxford button-down shirt, you can wear that year-round. However, if you go with a linen shirt, that should only be worn during the summer months, whenever it's hot. I mean, if you live in Florida, it's hot year round, so you can technically wear it year round, but linen is reserved for hot months. Now, here is a fun fact coming up about Oxford shirts and linen shirts. Did you know that layering with them, so over a t-shirt or tank, can also help trap in cooler air at the same time? Amazing, right? So this may be a good idea for guys who happen to run a bit hot. Also layering these shirts helps break up a bigger torso vertically, as well as adding a bit more bulk to a thinner frame. So it definitely creates a much more flattering silhouette for not only your big boys out there, but also your skinny guys out there as well. My final note, if you go with linen, avoid white. If you happen to have, say, really dark chest hair or darker nipples, as it will come through. In that case, I would go with navy, light gray, light blue. Those are the better options instead of doing white. Now, while we're on the subject of long sleeve shirts, let's discuss my next pick on the list of summer shirts that women love, the chambray shirt. Now, while this elegant fabric may look like denim, chambray is actually woven differently and is much thinner, lighter, and softer material than its cowboy cousin. Chambray shirts pair great with almost anything and can be worn either solo or layered with other items. I like styling them with some chinos and sneakers to create a great casual summer look. And you can always throw on a white t-shirt underneath for, you know, a cool and understated aesthetic. And again, if it gets chilly at night, then you can always layer a jacket on top. 
Color-wise, I especially love a chambray shirt in a light wash blue or gray as the lighter shade allows you to pair it with dark wash jeans without looking like you're wearing a Canadian tuxedo. I mean, I will have to say I do like chambray shirts when paired with chinos instead. I think it just creates the ultimate stylish summer look that every guy can pull off. And this is a great shirt to roll up your sleeves. As I've said in the past, there's something really masculine and sexy when a guy rolls up his shirt, it's hugging his forearm, he has a watch on or a metal cuff. I mean, it is so hot. Seriously, Whew. I'm getting real hot, real sweaty over here. 